This video is for all you dedicated karate practitioners around the world that have trouble to keep training properly uh, during this uh, crisis with the corona outbreak. So in this video I will explain to you the three things you have to do in order to keep up the pace and keep training. Hi there, AJ here from the Digidoji.com, Chief Instructor for Wadakai Holland and Kenshikai Kobodo Europe. In this video, I will explain to you three things that you have to do. And number one is get your mind straight. It's very simple. But on the other hand, it's also very complicated. And here's why. You need that dedication. Now note that in the beginning of the video, I also called you out because I said this video is for the dedicated karate practitioners. This is not for the people who you know enjoy going to the dojo, but you know, when there's a summer holiday, they don't miss the dojo. They don't, you know, are on the edge of their seat to go back. This is really for you if you are always busy with training. But having said that, I know there is a very, very big difference between practicing yourself at home properly, you know, without anyone telling you what to do, giving the commands, you know, when you start to get tired, you know, that he shouts in your ear or, you know, whatever style of instructor that you have, right? But there's someone there who's helping you out. There are, you know, your fellow students that create, that together you create, create the atmosphere. This is what you don't have at home. And that's why the first thing you have to do is get your mind straight. Because you have to be honest with yourself. And if you can look yourself in the mirror and say with 100% confidence, I'm going to practice. If that is the case, then you're ready for step two. Step two is creating the circumstance because you have noticed, right? Your life completely changed. Almost like overnight, almost like overnight, the world changed, right? It just changed, everything changed. So I'm a school teacher, actually, actually now I'm off to work, but most of the time I just work from home. And my guess is you are too. Maybe you are in a profession that you still have to work, but I'm going to assume that you have sort of more time on your hands. But now that you have more time, all of a sudden, you know, different stuff is coming your way. And that is why you have to create the circumstance. Because when you want to practice at your house, you know, you need to create some space. Now, of course, you know, just move the furniture and get going. But, you know, what if your wife has to do some vacuuming? Or maybe you do too, right? But whatever, you know what I'm talking about. Maybe at that point in time, you can practice there. So you have to create the circumstance. First, after you get your mind straight, that you tell yourself with confidence, like I'm going to practice and I'm going to do this like three times a week or whatever you want. Then the next step is to create that circumstance. So you have to make sure, you know, that your karate gi is ready. Because I'm telling you, if you are practicing just in your regular clothes, for whatever reason, you know, mentally, it feels different. You will be better mentally prepared if you put on your suit. It's almost like, you know, when you put it on in your brain, there's a, a switch is flipping, you know, into karate mode. So that's number two, you have to create the circumstance. Then number three, not to be overlooked. You have to plan this stuff, right? You have to talk to your spouse. You have to, or to your parents if you live at home. You have to make sure that you are getting this time. Because remember, just a few weeks ago, there's, this was normal, right? On Monday, you got to go to the dojo and nobody said like, oh, I want you to stay home because so-and-so. No, it was normal you go to the dojo on Monday. So, you know, it is just the way it is. But now everything changed. So you need to make a new schedule. Now I already, you know, heard from a lot of people and also from people who are very dedicated that right now they have a lot of trouble to, you know, sort of create the time to practice while they are more, they have basically sort of more time than normal, than usual, right? So these are the three things that you have to do. There is no way around this and they will have some overlap here and there, but this is what you have to do. So allow me to recap this video. The first thing you have to do is get your mind straight. Be honest, right? Do you really want to practice? Are you willing to go to length to get it hap to make it happen? Are you willing to put in some effort to create the circumstance? And that was number two, remember? 
you have to create the circumstance. So if you don't have space in your house, you're going to create the space, right? If you, well, for whatever reason, don't have time, then talk to your spouse and make sure that you get this training done. Maybe she can take some tasks off your hand so that you can practice, right? And number three, right, that was planning. So once you get your mind straight, once you create that circumstance that you know, right, normally you go to the dojo and everything is set up there. Now you have to make sure it is set up at your house or in your garden, whatever that you pick. Once that's ready, you have to make a planning, right? So for example, if you talk to your spouse and say, okay, I want to move the furniture, is that okay with you? Yes, that's okay, no problem. Then you have to make sure to pin down when that's going to happen. And if you um, don't do, if, if one of those three are lacking, I am guaranteeing you that you won't practice properly. And if you practice properly, then maybe you do it once a week, or maybe you do it 30 minutes instead of one hour, whatever you want. So you have to get these things straight. Get your mind straight, create the circumstance, and plan ahead. If you're going to do this, then also I recommend you join the hologram series. I am taking you through full classes ranging from 30 to 60 minutes. It's full classes. I'm going to do the counts. I'm going to practice with you. It's going to be amazing, guys. There's a link down below this video links.thedigitage.com slash the hologram series. Go there, leave your name and email address and you'll get instant access to loads of things. I started like um, 16th of March, something like that. Now already yesterday I shot uh, class 17. So try to keep up, click the link down below this video and I'll see you on the inside. And remember, implementation is everything. How are you going to take action? So drop a comment down below and let me know your key insight and biggest takeaway from this video. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, turn on the notification and hit the bell so that every single time I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Now next to my YouTube videos, I invite you to check out the digidoji.com, which is the largest knowledge base on karate and kobudo on the planet with thousands of high quality instructional videos that'll take your skill to the next level. And if you get started at the digidoji.com for free right now, you'll enjoy these three welcome gifts that I prepared for you. So number one is the best footage of the Wadokai Summer Camp 2013 with Sagami Sensei. The next one is the Takshima Seminar from 1998. Plus you'll get access to the Miyoto Deck Crash Course where you discover how to develop this traditional skill from the ground up. After you hit subscribe and give the video a thumbs up, click the link down below in the description box to check it out. Thanks for watching and stay tuned for the next one.